Terrible Home Editions. Item Number SCP-1452 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures A single immature instance of SCP-1452 is to be contained in a 8 by 7 by 8 meter containment chamber located in Site-77's Euclid Containment Wing. The walls of this chamber are to be constructed out of natural rock, with the floor being coated in a 15 mm layer of glass. If SCP-1452 integrates itself into the containment chamber, it is to be detached from the chamber it has integrated itself into, and then relocated. Any immature instance of SCP-1452 found outside of containment is to be burned, and any building it has connected to demolished. Mature instances of SCP-1452 are to be totally incinerated. Uncontained instances of SCP-1452 are to be captured by MTF Psi-7, Home Improvement. Reports of SCP-1452 activity may also be related to SCP-1992. Description SCP-1452 is a set of residential building additions of varying appearance with an average size of 5 by 5 by 5 meters. Instances of SCP-1452 are ambulatory and are able to move by slowly pushing themselves along the ground at a rate of 10 meters an hour. If an instance of SCP-1452 comes into contact with a vacant residential building, the SCP-1452 instances will integrate themselves into these buildings as though they were additions to the home. When this process is completed, the SCP-1452 instances will become dormant until the house becomes occupied. Attempting to enter the SCP-1452 instance prior to integration will show that it is constructed out of solid concrete or wood. The process by which SCP-1452 integrates itself into a building takes between 15 and 45 hours. It will first line itself up with either the left or right side of a building, with a significant number of SCP-1452 instances preferring the right side. SCP-1452 will then emanate sounds of hammering, sawing, and drilling for several hours. After SCP-1452 ceases to make sound, a 2 by 1 meter section of the wall SCP-1452 is contacting will dissolve, and a door will move into its place. At this point, SCP-1452 will contain a fully furnished interior. Any occupied building with an instance of SCP-1452 will slowly lose its structural integrity. In addition, any electronic item within the building will become unusable within two weeks of being within the building, unless it is stored in SCP-1452. The instance of SCP-1452 will become larger as the house becomes weaker adding additional rooms and furnishings as time goes on. Approximately three months after this process begins, the house will collapse, and SCP-1452 will take its place. At this point, the SCP-1452 instance is considered to be mature, and the second stage of its effect will initiate. Mature instances of SCP-1452 will continuously produce immature SCP-1452s, these will integrate themselves onto any home near SCP-1452. The interior of the mature SCP-1452 will slowly fill itself in until it is a solid block of whatever its original building material was, such as wood or concrete. It will continue to produce instances of SCP-1452 until it is destroyed. SCP-1452 was originally discovered in the town of Danville, Pennsylvania, after residents in a poor section of town began reporting that their homes had grown additions to themselves overnight. Investigating Foundation agents discovered several mature instances of SCP-1452, and an immature instance in the process of integrating itself into a residential home. Due to the large number of SCP-1452 infested homes, the neighborhood was raised under the pretense of toxic waste in the area. SCP-1452 was classified as Euclid on September 18, 1997.